original british skinhead subculture in photographic portraits the skinhead subculture was born in england in the late 1960s as an offshoot of the mod culture skinheads were distinct from other british subcultures due to their uniform of boots jeans braces suspenders and the trademark shaved head their style was an exaggerated version of the traditional unskilled laborer one of the first scholars to research skinheads sociologist mike brake classified skinheads as a traditional working class delinquent subculture and documented five traits that define first generation british skinheads toughness and violence football soccer ethnocentrism puritan work ethic and a cynical worldview in england there were two waves of the skinhead cult from its inception the skinhead subculture was largely based around music the first group appeared in the late 1960s as an offshoot of the mod subculture and largely died out by 1972. the second wave arrived in the late 1970s and early 1980s these skinheads differed from the first generation in that they were not influenced as much by mod as they were by the growing punk and two-tone ska scenes in london punk lent itself to violence through its embrace of aggressive music and teenage angst Skinheads reflected this new influence by combining the exaggerated imagery of the original skinhead style with punk. They took the boots and suspenders and jeans of the late 1960s and added closer cropped hair, bomber jackets, and tattoos. The popularity of the two-tone movement helped spread the look of skinheads to all parts of the United Kingdom. Simon Laws, a British skinhead, notes, I became a skinhead and there was only one other skinhead in my estate in 1978. By the following year, every kid in England was a skinhead. At the same time the subculture was growing, England was experiencing an influx of immigrants from India, the backlash to this wave of newcomers from the native British population was reflected in the skinhead subculture. Zai Kiling and Paki bashing were sensationalized by the media. The growth of the right-wing National Front and its recruitment of youth merely increased the amount of conflict present in the skinhead subculture. Punk shows and ska shows were marred by skinhead violence. During the early 1980s, political affiliations grew in significance and split the subculture, distancing the far-right and left-wing strands. Although many skinheads described themselves as apolitical as a pro-working class movement, skinhead culture attracted those with nationalist beliefs, including violently racist or neo-Nazi elements. In Great Britain, the skinhead subculture became associated in the public eye with the membership of groups such as the National Front and the British Movement. By the 1990s, neo-Nazi skinhead movements existed across all of Europe and North America. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel.